Tara Jacobson, Marketing Art Flea. So today we're going to talk about how to find popular things. And first let's talk about why it's important to know what's popular. As a real estate agent, you are busy, right? Like you're busy selling and listing houses, but the world has changed a little bit and you need to find things to post on social media. You may have a blog post that you do. You may be doing Facebook Live videos. You may be doing YouTube videos. And unilaterally, you will get more views, more likes, more engagement if you are tapping into the zeitgeist of what people are already finding popular now. And it's really odd to think that just because something's popular, it gets more popular, but that's how the world works. So today we're going to go through a bunch of different sites, 10 ways to find popular things to post on social media or topics for your videos or your blog. So this is kind of cool, maybe affordable to buy one home then two. So that's really interesting. That is more of a rental property investment realtor type of thing than it is like a traditional realtor, but you could talk about that and that when you're looking for, I just wrote a blog post about um, multi-generational living. So that would go together with it, which is also a popular topic. Um, so that's, I find that super interesting. Um, I also saw here something about termites, how to prevent a termite infection, infestation. Um, that would be really good for, I think that, I know we have them here in Florida. I don't know whether they have them in uh, Texas. I think I remember seeing some of those. So those are the kinds of things that you want to talk about. And then you would talk, go on to talk about, you know, make sure you have a termite in, inspection when you are closing on your home. Then you show your knowledge of real estate and the real estate market. So that's interesting. And then this is, oh, paying in cash. I always think that people who are um, home buyers, especially, are interested and then of course if you have one of those special clients that's looking for a cash buyer um but but that's something that you could link to that's really cool too this is the realtor.com news news and insights right here i'll have links to all of these uh in the video and the blog post that i'll write to go along with this okay our next site is forbes forbes is very fancy they're very high-end luxury a lot like that so you would go to, to Forbes.com slash real estate and they have all kinds of, look, saving tips for buying a home. Now you could, if you're doing this, you could extrapolate that to say saving tips for buying a home in Clearwater, Florida, right? We know the topic is popular and then you would add it to your location because Real estate is really HBO about Network. location. Uh-oh, this is turning on. We have to turn that off. Stream Stop all of it. HBO directly to your TV without cable. Sorry about that. I don't know if you could hear it, but that was literally the most annoying ad ever. All right, so this is, oh, here we have a couple things. They didn't, ha see, this is what's so interesting. They didn't have on here, on the front page, that it was about millennials, right? They just had tips for buying a home in New York City. And then here they had it specifically for the millennials. So you're kind of, if you're doing a Venn diagram of things that are interesting, uh, millennials, the fact that they may be buying homes at a slower rate, the fact that they have increased debt, they're not as able to purchase homes as maybe um, people in my age demographic or older were, that those are all interesting topics. And then you can also follow, um, this is interesting, if you're in New York City, like the seventh most expensive city. So you could follow all kinds of links in there to find either things to post or things to talk about. All right, our next one is gonna be Bloomberg and they have a home section. And this is really still in the luxury right? Luxury home sale boom in Hawaii. Um, people always love to see, you know, million dollar, multi-million dollar homes. Um, I wouldn't post sad things like uh, that they're tearing down something. 
Um, that just makes people sad. Let's see. Crazy Rich. Oh, the Crazy Rich Asians are a popular TV show right now. By the time you watch this, they may not be popular. But you could talk about, you know, uh, different features that are in their homes. You could take still shots from, like, their closet and go, oh, my gosh, this is... Would, would you kill to have this closet? You know, what's more important to you, a closet, a large closet, or a big master bathroom? Those are all things that you could do in, uh, in your Facebook posts. Um, oh, home prices are falling in, Amer in one of America's richest suburbs. Those are interesting things to, to talk about, especially if it's in your area. And let's see where it is. Uh, this is very new. Bloomberg isn't necessarily New York City, um, but this is uh, the things we're finding here in New York City. All right, so now this is super interesting. If you do a search for real estate news, you'll get all kinds of real estate, but you can also do a search for real estate, right? And then pick the news tab. News tab, okay. Digital real estate, that's fun. Howard Hughes, you know, you're looking for popular topics and then you're not looking for how to be a realtor, what real, like you wanna think about your customer base and what they're interested in. And a lot of times we tend to wanna to post things that are complementarily complimentary to our industry or complementary to ourselves but you want to make sure that everything that you post and that you talk about is for your clients now if you're a listing agent you want to kind of go towards listing things upgrades features what's going on in the design industry we'll see that in a little bit um, if you want to do buyers you want all kinds of things to help them with making good buying decisions as we already saw with financing with um you know, inspections, things like that to look out for. Okay, the LA Times has a real estate section, latimes.com forward slash business forward slash real estate. And you can see, this is, this is one of the things that most realtors I am seeing, like I don't see them doing it on Facebook at all. And if you're doing it, tag me, Tara Jacobson. But this, what $350,000 buys right now, is on all of these sites because people love it. They love to know what, you know, different price points look like. Um, and I noticed earlier when I was looking through this, they had another couple of them down here. Um, this one, the LA Times one, is a little specific because it has a lot of information about um, actresses and actors, things like that. But if you're the type of person, so say you love Annie Lennox, you could do a merge of your love for Annie Lennox and the fact that she's buying a home, things like that. All right, the Wall Street Journal, age old, real estate. Um, so this has more articles, I felt like. Um, so I thought this was really interesting, the unreality of reality TV home shows. And that would be so interesting to talk about to say, you know, I know it's fun to watch, but that isn't really how it goes. Here's paying in cash. So we have a lot of cash buyers already on two of the sites in the top, you know, 10 things they're talking about as cash buyers. That should be something that should be on your radar and you should be doing it. I love this one, home office decorating flubs, you know, that's, that's speaking to the fact that there's so many more people working from home. You may want to talk about that. And if you're, have, changed from a employer person to a work from home person they may want to move to get an office um so those are things that you can do to prompt them to be thinking about moving okay so huffington post this is interesting because this is the home and living section now we're getting we're going to keep getting more and more away from strictly real estate and more into that home and living. Now, as a realtor, anything connected to a home, to landscaping, to houses, to subdivisions, to cities, to all of that is in your purview. So don't worry about it. Um, so this is 
We don't want home finds from the Labor Day sale. We don't really want that. Okay. So you could talk about dogs. You could talk about kids. They like that. Um, teachers, schools are so important um, to when, when families are buying houses. I know that per RESPA, we can't really talk about, you know, that this is a great neighborhood because blah, blah, blah. But you can talk about schools and open that talk. Okay. This is fun because, oh, Ikea's best-selling bookcases. So this is going to have some really pretty pictures of things that you could, you know, split screen. Which bookcase would you like? Which would, And I know it seems like, how can you be a realtor and dealing with hundreds of thousands of dollars of finances every day and now you got to be cute on the internet too? Well, one of the things that really makes a difference is making sure it sticks with your um your market and your the people who you work with so i'm thinking right now of a gentleman i was speaking down in miami and there was a realtor there and he was literally in a suit like a super expensive suit with the crocodile loafers and all that now he wouldn't be posting these kinds of you know these kinds of ikea bookshelves those aren't his target market but if you're dealing with first-time home buyers, if you're dealing with, you know, um, kind of the, 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 the newer buyers and then up into the middle of the market, this could be something they would be interested in. He would want to stick to the Forbes and things like that. So just something to think about. Another really good site to find popular things on is Apartment Therapy. And they have all kinds of beautiful photography. So five house plants you can't kill by overwatering. What you want to do is you always want to have that and attach it to something with real estate. So you would say, if you're trying to spruce up your home for sale, here's a tip that you can, you know, use house plants to put a pop of color in your rooms or to help decrease smells or do whatever. So those are the kinds of things that you could, oh, what's it really look like renovating a house with HGTV? So now this is our second article about this. So it is a controversial, popular topic right now. And it's something that you could talk about, right? Before and afters. Oh my gosh, people love seeing those. Um, in fact, I bet you you want me to click on that so we could see there's a $100 um, bathroom makeover. What could they do with $100? Uh, home line for small spaces. Now, if you're a realtor that works in a city, then you really want to talk about, you know, rentals, things like that. If you're a realtor here in the suburbs, then you wouldn't want to post rental things. So make sure that you're really aware of what your market is, who your clientele is, and then feed into what they want. Um, okay, I have to click on that because I really want to know about that, but you don't get to see. All right uh better homes and gardens any of these sites like i said you can put any of these pictures oh my gosh look how cute these are find your decorating style and then you would want to talk about the fact that if you are going to be selling your home you want to make sure to keep it more neutral you may love yellow wallpaper but if you're at a yellow front door i love it too but if you're thinking about selling your home, you could even take some of these pictures, put them in a blog post and say which things are worthwhile to do if you're thinking of selling your home, right? Those are the things you can do. The color palettes that are hot right now, this is a wonderful site. They have a lot of, oh, should you paint your ceiling? Is it cute or is it detracting? You know, that's the kind of thing that you could do. And last but not least, Pinterest is an amazing place to find things. Um, so to share on Pinterest, obviously, but if you go to the popular tab, this is, uh, popular and you can find things that are related to home, right? I, I, I just personally don't want to share recipes because I'm not a cook. I was a realtor, but you could, if you like to send the recipe cards, you could share recipes that go along with them. Um, you know, what's popular in kitchens, neat kitchen cabinet ideas and pics of magnet somethings. Okay. So you could click on that. 
it's coming. I got a lot running. Okay, and then you're going to go to click on it, and then this is where you can start to download the pictures. This looks kind of a spammy site, so you would want to check that. But you could uh, take the pictures to upload to Facebook. You could, and then you always cite the source, right? You're going to say, this was from Better Homes and Gardens. Maybe even put a link to their site. You want to be super respectful. If you're using pictures in a blog post, you want to make sure that you have that respectful thing. But right here, this person using the 70 plus awesome farmhouse kitchen design ideas did not do 70 kitchen redesigns. What they're doing is a compilation post of all different places. Just go try to find that original person. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is you may not be able to really see it, but I did this search in incognito window. And you can do this in Chrome. They say that if you click here and you say new incognito window, what you've done is you've stripped out everything that, all the cookies that have been set, all of your logins, everything that they're used to. Because if you go to some of these sites and you go to Pinterest and you do all that, what happens is they know you already. So they're going to show you more things that you already like, not necessarily what is popular in the world right now. So as I said, I have all of this in my, um, either in the video below if you're on YouTube or in the blog post below if you're on my website. Uh, please click subscribe if you like videos like this and click the thumbs up button if you can and let me know that you like this video. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.